everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I have had some new subscribers. So hi, uh, my name is Laura. Uh, I do pretty much exclusively diamond painting content on this channel. I do a lot of unboxings and post reviews and different types of videos. Um, so thanks so much for being here and checking out my videos, particularly this one. So the chances of me crying in this unboxing <laughs> are very, very high. Um, I'm going to start opening and we'll talk about it. So if you are familiar with Diamond Art Club and you are probably familiar with the artist Mandy Manzano, um, she has a line of kits with Diamond Art Club that has been discontinued and they are very highly, 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 highly sought after. Now, of course, that collection I'm talking about is the Princess Panels. I have almost all of them. I'm missing just a few. And in here is one that I am missing. So I, <sighs> there are some amazing people in the community that try to help you track down um, in search of kits or unicorn kits. Um, if you ever see posts in groups that say like ISO or DISO, those are in search of or desperately in search of. Um, I have found one other princess panel that way. It was the Brave one. I got that one last year sometime. But I had posted a long time ago and I had just kind of made it aware, made, made people aware that I was looking for this particular kit. And um, I don't know if they want to be called out, but I actually received a message from Lindsay from Emeralds and Fairy Lights. So Lindsay, thank you so much. <laughs> um, somebody had reached out to her about this kit and she had already completed her collection. Um, and I guess they had asked if Lindsay knew of anybody else. So she reached out to me and I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so let's see, let me make sure, okay. So it looks like they wrapped it in paper as well. I hope I didn't show my address at all during that. Don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. Um, <clears throat> so Lindsay put me in contact with, um, I believe it's Catherine. I, th I hope it's Catherine and not Kathleen. I think it's Catherine. And um, I was talking to her and she set me up with the person who was de-stashing and I was able to pick up my ultimate diamond painting unicorn. Now I will say this is one of the princesses, like I said, and these kits are very highly sought after. And unfortunately they come with a price tag. So I did pay a bit of money. Um, however, I did find out that the person who was de-stashing, um, there was a huge de-stash and they were de-stashing a bunch of paintings for a family member who had passed away and they were, you know, trying to raise money for funeral costs and whatever else. So honestly, like to lose a member of the diamond painting community and let me tell you, she had a stash. She had an amazing stash of diamond paintings and pens. I'm, I'm pretty sure everything is gone by now, but I will link the Facebook group down below. You do have to request to join it. Um, so I did pay a decent amount. However, I was planning to convert this from a cross stitch pattern and I paid less than what I would have paid to have had to do that process. So you think I would have had to purchase the cross stitch pattern, all of the drills, a canvas, probably, I do have an iPad, but I don't think um, the cross stitch pattern converter thing, I can't remember the name of it, um, I don't think they have an Apple app, so I would have had to find something Android that had the app on it. And it just kind of just seemed like so much work and I, the rendering wouldn't have been what I wanted. So when this came available, I knew it was higher than I had hoped to pay to find it. Of course, you would love to find it at retail, but if it's something that you really, really love, us as diamond painters, we kind of prioritize things differently. So I did pay a pretty decent amount for this kit. However, it is the Diamond Art Club rendering. Um, it is the older square drills, but I'm okay with that. I'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, just, just keep that in mind. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I paid, but 
it would it is still less than it would have cost me to convert it from a cross stitch so we'll go with that but the kit in question oh my god is the daughter of peace oh my gosh it's a 42 by 125 as most of the princess panels are and it is square drills with uh i think there's two ab's oh my gosh now this has been opened because they did have a photograph oh yes this is definitely old school diamond art club <laughs> packaging but here is the toolkit uh nothing too exciting i'm not going to go through that i have gone through it in many other unboxings i just so badly want to see this kit who remembers the white diamond art club dust bags <laughs> that's how you know you've been around for a while Okay. Now, I had seen this kit on the website at one point. When I first started diamond painting, I found Diamond Art Club. I saw their prices and I was like, uh-uh, that is, <laughs> that's too much. But um, at the time, I think like a lot of beginner diamond paintings, I didn't understand licensed artwork. I didn't know what you were paying for when you were purchasing from Diamond Art Club. And I would be curious to know what the price was on this kit when it first came out, because I, I'm sure it's less than what a lot of their kits are now. Um, but these drills actually look pretty good. Um, I'll take a couple out and we'll take a, a closer look at them, but they do actually look really good. Um, if you hear the lawnmower, my boyfriend is out mowing the lawn. I apologize for that, but Okay, I'm not going to be able to show the entire canvas in this filming setup, but I will take a couple of pictures and input it. Input it? What? I, can you tell how excited I am? I will take a couple of pictures and just pop them up on the screen for you guys, but... Okay, this is the top. Oh my gosh. I'm going to roll it backwards. Oh my goodness. I'm not looking because I want the full. <laughs> All right, so I do have a sticker sheet. I think I'll do it. I'll just lay it down sideways so you can see some of it. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. Look at her face. I cannot believe I have this in my house right now. Oh my goodness. And this canvas is in pristine condition. Um, there are a couple spots in the back, but honestly, like I would have gotten them in my house as well. So nothing that's like just a couple of little fuzzies. I don't care. <laughs> it could have a bunch of black marks in the back and I would be totally fine with it. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. It's so weird though to see an older, I have older Diamond Art Clubs in my stash, but it's been so long since I've looked at them because like everything up here is different. <laughs> so it's just, it's cool. And this plastic is super thin. So it's definitely an older, an older kit, but oh my gosh, I cannot believe I have this. Uh, thank you so much to Lindsay and Catherine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was away for a long weekend with my boyfriend and I saw Lindsay's message and I just lost it. I was like, oh my God, I started squealing and he's like, what is wrong? And I was like, oh, nothing. And he's like, oh, diamond painting. <laughs> so he gets it, but even the sticker sheet is funny. Oh my gosh, she is so beautiful i don't know so it's currently june when i'm filming this i have finished daughter of honor and i'm like should i kit this up and do a second princess panel in the month of june but that would kind of mess up everything else that i have going on uh, because i'm currently working on hogwarts and hedwig for the harry potter event so i don't know if i want to work on this right away like completely mix up my schedule and throw this in there or if I kind of want to relish having it in my stash for a bit. Pocahontas is my favorite Disney princess. And I'm kind of thinking like, it'd be kind of cool to work on her in November, which is my birthday month. November has nothing to do with Pocahontas. It came out, I think in June of like 95, maybe. Um, but it is my birthday month and maybe it would just be fun to work on her then. I don't know. 
Do I really want to wait until next June for the next princess along? I don't think so, but we'll see what happens. Um, I just want to, yeah, everything is totally fine. This is in really great condition. Um, it, it makes me sad, the circumstances that it came to me, but I also hope that like the original owner knows wherever they are that this is well loved and I'm so excited to have it in my stash. So um, it's kind of bittersweet to own it just because of the circumstances, but I am so excited. Okay, so there are three ABs in this kit. Look at the old style sticker. This is this might be fun for some of you new um, diamond painters or new to diamond art club people because this is technically old old school packaging and everything. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I'm looking for the ABs. So I see the white AB. 141 was a favorite even back in the day. I would say this kit came out at least two years ago, if not a little bit longer. Here is the orange AB, 132. And we also have a pink, which is 124. Just looking for that pink color. Oh, here it is. So some of the light pink AB. So really beautiful colors, a lot of greens, some yellows. I think this kit would be really fun to add in some extra ABs. Um, so far I've done that on all of my princess panels. So I think that would be kind of just a fun trend to carry on. I wanted to look at the black drills here. Do I have a pair of scissors? Uh, I do. All right, let's open these. Not open them, but cut them off. Okay, so these drills look pretty good. I'm willing to bet that this was not in a like one of the original kits that came out. I'm willing to bet this is one of the restocks they did before they discontinued. Because I do believe they brought this back one or two times before they officially discontinued it. Because these drills don't look, um, they don't look acrylic to me. They might be, um, but they, they, they don't. To me, they just look like Diamond Art Club's older square drills, which to my knowledge were resin, um, at least since I've been buying. So these drills look okay. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of tabs on the side. So I had kind of, if you have watched um, Lindsay's from Emeralds and Fairy Lights, she did a reveal on um, the Lost Princess and she's actually replacing all of the drills with the new the new new Diamond Art Club square drills um, because she had said she thought hers were acrylic. I don't think these ones are acrylic, which would, which is what leads me to believe that this was purchased during one of those restocks um, because they, it's obviously it's hard to tell in the bag, but I'm not seeing any like um, pieces coming off. Um, the, the squares that are lined up next to each other are lined up really nicely. So I think I will just use these drills. I had mentioned to Lindsay when we were talking about it, I was like, oh gosh, am I going to have to replace the drills like you did, like you're doing? I was thinking about it, but I don't know that I'm in for that much work. It just sounds like so much work to me. Um, okay. So let's take a quick look at where the ABs go. I'll do my best to show you. I know that... <sighs> It's kind of like, I've said this before with my princess panels. I don't want people to feel like, oh my gosh, she's bragging that she has this kit and um, I'm never going to be able to find it. They're, the kits are definitely out there. They are definitely out there. There are people that are selling or willing to sell. You just kind of have to look. Um, I had given up. I really had. And there's two that I still need. Um, 
The Lost Princess and Daughter of the Sea King. I am missing both of those, but we'll see what happens. Um, so I don't want you guys to feel like she's showing a discontinued kit that I can't get. But I know that there are people that like to see the princess panels. They like to see what Diamond Art Club did come out with. Um, so I hope that this video isn't taken the wrong way. And I apologize if it is. But I'm just super excited and I wanted to share that with people who I know understand. You know, like my boyfriend's not going to understand me being close to tears over a diamond painting, but some of you guys might, so. Um, but I'll just really quickly go through the ABs and then I'll let you guys go. So the first AB is that light pink and it's symbol one. And I'm seeing that here through this top part of her dress, as well as down here in this really light pink spot. The second AB is 132 and that is symbol two. And that is, I see some up here through this swirl. Um, I think that might be it actually. I don't wanna to spend too much time on looking for the ABs. Oh, and I see some down here and this swirl area as well. And then the final AB is 141, which is the white. And I see that pretty much anywhere you see white is the white AB. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, I hope like it doesn't upset people. <laughs> it's not necessarily me being like braggy, but at the same time, like I'm just really excited. So this is the Daughter of Peace from Diamond Art Club. Thank you so much to the family who was de-stashing. I'm so sorry for your loss, but I hope maybe you find some comfort in knowing that this kit will be so well loved <laughs> in its new home. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.